Hi everybody and happy fall. Coming back with another video. Today we're going to make something that's going to entice the ones that have the sweet tooth like we do. It's going to be a delicious fall easy recipe. We call these our caramel apple wontons. Very easy to make. Your kids can help you assemble them. Just please don't let them help you fry them. Okay, for this recipe, you're going to need um, a few apples. We bought the mini apples, so we're going to use four. You can use about two medium apples that we're going to peel and dice. We've got three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of butter. You're, of course, going to need some wonton wrappers. Um, the kind that we bought, which you'll see this video is a little bit of a retake, but um, we prefer the ones from Walmart. We weren't anywhere near Walmart, so we bought these at a different store, and they were a little bit dry. So I had to end up um, doubling up on the wontons. The ones at Walmart are really good, and you wouldn't have to do that. Um, and we're also going to need a little bit of cinnamon. Um, I use about a teaspoonful, but you can use it according to your taste. So what we're going to do is we're going to dice these apples up, get them into a bowl, and then we're going to start the cooking process, and we'll be back. All right, everybody, we have our apples diced up now. Um, just pretty tiny pieces because um, the wonton wrappers, you know, aren't that big. So we don't want them in too big of pieces. I don't know if I can, if it'll focus on that or not, but just kind of small pieces. And I don't know if I mentioned them before or not. Um, we use craft caramels. We cut them up in small pieces and put them inside the wonton wrapper with the apple mixture. But you certainly don't have to do that because the butter and the brown sugar together is going to create kind of a caramely um, consistency anyway. But that's just a little something extra that we do. So now we're going to melt some butter, get the brown sugar in and the apples, and we're going to commence to cooking. Okay, so we've got our pan heating up now. What we're going to do is we're going to get ready to put our butter in. we got three tablespoons of butter. Putting that in. Going to let it start to melt a little bit. Won't take very long. Butter's all stuck together. It was bigger I picked the wobbliest pan. <laughs> it's warped a little bit. I have others, but this is just the first one that I grabbed. Okay, we're going to let that melt just a little bit. And we're going to dump in our brown sugar. That's three tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to mix that together a little bit just to get the butter and the brown sugar incorporated a little and we're going to go ahead and dump in our apples I would say it's probably about a cup and a half of tiny apples okay and we're going to put in just a, what I would say probably about a teaspoon of sugar or cinnamon. But you can add about as much as you'd like to. It's to your taste. And we're just going to give this all a stir. I've got the stove on about medium heat. This won't take very long. The process will probably take about five to seven minutes. Just want to cook the apples down some just to get them a little bit tender. I don't think you want to bite into your wonton and have a crunchy apple. So, Not to mention, like I said, the brown sugar and the butter will give it a little bit of a caramel covering anyway. These are really good, guys. I wish you could smell it. it smells amazing. Okay, I'm going to let these cook a little bit, and we'll be back. If you can see how the caramel mixture is bubbling, um, we're just going to let it do that for about five minutes, just giving it an occasional stir. And then the butter and the brown sugar will start to thicken up. 
Okay, everybody, this has been about five minutes on medium heat. And as you can see, the butter and the brown sugar is starting to thicken up now. When I pull it back in the pan, it's not quickly running back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut off the heat. I'm going to transfer this to a bowl, and I'm going to let it cool down to at least room temperature. This is what the mixture looks like after we transferred it to a bowl. And like I said, we're just going to let it sit and just cool down a little bit. If you want to put it in the refrigerator for about five minutes or so, you can certainly do that if you want to speed up the process. Like I said, this is actually a retake. We did the video last night, and for some reason, the first, the first section of the video got deleted. I don't remember deleting it. Hubby said he didn't delete it. Um, so it's lost somewhere, and we just can't find it. So we had to redo this part. So in the second part, you're going to hear me talking about the wontons, um, which I had talked about before. Um, when you double up on the wontons, though, make sure that you brush the first one with a little bit of water before you put the second wonton on top of it. That way, they don't want to separate when you're filling them. I just wanted to add, too, while we're letting this cool down, that if any of you are trying to watch your sugar, um, which I know apples are already high in natural sugars, but if you're trying to watch your sugars, you can certainly use a brown sugar substitute. Um, we like to use Swerve. Um, we're not using it right now, but when we've been on a low-carb diet, we'll use Swerve um, brown sugar substitute. We buy it off of Amazon, and it is really, really good, and it has absolutely zero carbs. So I would recommend that for anybody that's wanting to cut back on the sugars and the carbs and I want to say thank you to you guys while I have a minute for watching these videos I know sometimes I talk like I've got a mouthful of <laughs> but it's kind of nervous I don't know how all of these people that make videos every day actually do it but they do a great job so I hope you guys are having a great fall a great vlogtober I hope you're seeing some great videos having fun. I know the leaves are falling. It's so beautiful. I just love the way the air feels in the fall and all the decorations. We're hoping that we go to, um, the, the town north of us is having a drive through haunted house um, next weekend. So we're hoping that we're going to be able to do that. And it's not bad. It's like $22 for a, a vehicle load of people. And after you go through that, they're going to be showing, um, they just said a classic Halloween movie. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So I think we're going to take part in that. But um, if you guys have any questions about this recipe or anything like that, just feel free to leave a comment below. Of course, I'll put the ingredients in the description. And I will also um, put a link to the kind of wontons that we use. So that you could see them. They sell them at Walmart. They're in the produce section over where they keep like the the cold salad dressings or the prepackaged fruits and vegetables. That's where you would find the wontons. Mm -hmm. Just a bit so anyway, um, I'm going to gonna go ahead and stop fall. this here and we're going to get to the wrapping process. Happy fall. Okay, everybody, can we get a take two <laughs> for some reason? The camera shut off on me and it just didn't get it. Um, so we're going to do this again. We're going to put a little bit of apple in the center of the wonton wrapper. You don't need very much because, you know, the wonton wrappers aren't very big. So just a little bite. We're going to take a little piece of caramel and put it right on top. We're going to brush this lightly with water around just to help seal the edges. And then we're going to fold it into a triangle. All you have to do is fold it and press down. Fold it and press down. Now sometimes people, you know, they like to make them a little bit fancier. If you do, you can always, you can always wet your edges. A little bit like this and then bring these together and fold them over 
like a little hat. But we're not going to do that. Well, we're going to do it with this one, but we're just going to leave them in triangles. So again, a little bit of apple in the center. Not very much. Probably about a teaspoonful is about all you need. A little piece of caramel. And we're going to brush these centers with a little bit of water on the edges. And fold it over. And press it down to seal. So I'm going to do a few of these and after I get done, I'm just going to put it on parchment paper. And when I get done, we're going to fry them up and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, I just wanted to let you know. Sorry, not okay guys, but hey. I just wanted to let you know that um, these wrappers are not the ones that we normally buy, and I know I told you guys not to be intimidated by them, and by all means, you should not, um, but apparently the ones we bought are a brand that we've never bought before, and they seem to be a little bit older, and they were falling apart, so what I did is I've been doubling up on them, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys again how to wrap one, because I know the video is a little bit short, so um, first of all, I got my wrapper here. Put a little piece of caramel right there in the center. I just smashed it down a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of the caramel apple mixture. Put it right in the center. Then we're going to take a little bit of this water. I'm going to brush the edges for the seal. I guess you guys can see that, not my big hand. And we're just going to bring it over like this. You see, fold it, come down here to the edges, and just press. Press and seal. Kind of like the wrap, press and seal. See? Just making a little pillow is all we're going to do. Pick it up, put it on our parchment paper, and we're going to get ready to fry. All right, we've got the oil heated up about an inch deep in our trusty old red wok. I think it's called a Ming. Got it from HSN or QVC or something. Works really well. So we're just going to drop these wontons in. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. Always be careful when you're working with oil. You don't want to get splattered. Don't let your kids do this, please. Just going to let them sit there for a couple of minutes until they look like they're starting to get a little golden brown. Give them a stir once in a while. Can you hear the sizzle? They're going to be so good. We've got the heat on. It's about on about medium high. If I, if I were to give you a temperature, I'd say probably about 350 degrees. I never do the thermometer. Um... I just figure usually about medium to medium high should get you to about 350 degrees, which is pretty normal for cooking time. So we're going to give these a flip and see how they look. Nice and pretty, getting a little golden on them. Gonna let them cook for a couple of more minutes. Actually, probably about a minute. I'd say a minute to a minute and a half on each side is probably good. Once you start to see little bubbles form, I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't want to drop my camera in the oil, but get a little brown bubbles. Um, no, that's not ready yet. So, usually about a minute to a minute and a half, and they're good. And then what we're going to do when these are done, we're going to take them out, put them on a paper towel to drain the excess grease, and we're going to put in some more. So we will show you the finished product just shortly. All right, these are the first three out of the batch. And if you can see, it's nice and golden brown. Got them on the paper towel draining, and we're going to put in some more. Doesn't that look like a plate full of delicious goodies? There's several options. Uh, we're going to prep them for presentation, but several options. You can 
roll them or sprinkle them with cinnamon sugar. You can dust them with powdered sugar. You can do both. You can even drizzle them with a little caramel. So we'll show you what they look like when we're done doing that. Okay, here you go. Here's the finished product. Uh, the ones on the right, we rolled them in some cinnamon sugar. The ones on the left, we dusted in powdered sugar. And I had a little bit of the apple and caramel stuff left over. So I just kind of put that along the sides. And on top, and we've got a little cup of caramel in the center for dipping. To me, I think these would be great for a Halloween party or a get-together, any type of fall get-together. Hubby's going to take a bite. Great crunch. I don't know if you can see the inside, but... Really good. Really, really good. It's like eating a caramel apple. It's like eating a caramel apple in a little pastry. The caramel melts on the inside. The butter that you brown in the pan with the apples gives it a nice brown butter flavor. Really good. Just overall, they're really, really good. So, um, I recommend getting the wonton wrappers from Walmart. I think Walmart only sells one brand. I'll look for those, and I'll put the brand in the description below. Um, they are much easier to work with than the ones that we got from Baszler's because they were really, really... I think they were a little on the older side. Um, so that's why we doubled them up. But I hope you guys make these. They're really simple and they're really simple and fun to make. Your kids can help you assemble them. Just don't let you help them. Don't let them help you fry them. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Happy fall, y'all.